Now we are going to discuss about some very important transaction that didn't make it to S4 HANA. Okay, so the first transaction that didn't make it is uh, me MB01. Okay, so this was a transaction that we are uh, we used to use for for creating goods receipt. Okay, so if you see, if I try to make, uh, I'll try to execute MP01. So it's, since I'm this is the first time someone is entering it, so here you can see MP01 is obsolete. So in this case, what you will do? So in this case, what you have to do is uh, you can go to um, this table which we know or we can check the created one uh, we created a, a web query and from here you can just execute okay and here you will give mb01 okay and here you will execute and it's replaced by migo okay so these this is very important transaction that is dropped Okay, there are other transaction that is dropped over here. We'll just search MB star. So how many uh, transactions are dropped is, so you have all these transaction that is dropped MB11, MB1A, MB1B, MB1C. Okay, these are some of the transaction that is dropped from MB. So MB01 is replaced with Migo. Uh, MB9A is replaced with MBAL, okay. And uh, the rest of the transaction is replaced by Migo. So another very important thing that we always do is uh, in, they say MB03 is replaced with Migo. The problem with uh, MB03, if you replace Migo, uh, MB03 with Migo is MB03 keeps the history. So I'm just saying what I need to say here. If you go to Migo and this is standard behavior of SAP. So what it does is if you display the, if you display a material document number, so next time when you try to try to execute the same same transaction code, by default it keeps it as like display a material document number. So you might be confused, like you might have to create, um, you always have to create goods receipt and then you have to select the purchase order and then so here if you see by default if you put display okay by default this opens so suppose i want to display a material document so i click on the material document number and i display a material document number here so next time what happens is this is all good when you're displaying this but when next time i want to do a goods receipt what i have to do is i have to come here Again, click goods receipt, and then I have to do, or I have to click uh, uh, goods receipt, and then I have to do the purchase order. Here I'll click purchase order. So it's a lot of clicking, and people make mistakes. So how can we get rid of um, uh, how? What is a good uh, good transaction code that can help me replace MB03? So there's a transaction called MB51. It's very handy. And here you can find all the all the um, all the transaction all the goods receipt you have entered for a particular system. And here, if you double click, you know I'll just execute. Probably will not have much, but here you can select all of these, and you can just double click from here. So you will just go here. You don't need to go to me, me go, or other stuff. So MB fifty one is ideally you should be using instead of uh, mb03 so this is very handy lots of times you might say why you want to use mb03 is because in mb03 you want to attach the delivery sleep and all those things after you uh, after you created a goods receipt so how you can do that is instead of going to uh, migo you just go to mb uh, uh, mb51 and you can search by the PO number or whatever the username, you will know the username or the reference number and you can find out. So this is very handy and you should be using, don't use Migo to display a material document or a goods receipt, always use MB51 and that will help you. So all the MB star transactions are gone. So this is something that's very important that didn't make it. Uh, another option to create goods receipt will be to use the Fiori, Fiori app. That's a good option. 
but um, if you are a fan of mp01 well um, that didn't make it so you have to use Miko or you have to use fiori uh, app for entering goods receipt so that's it for this tutorial stay tuned to my channel and happy sap learning